What's up YouTube? The Chief here. Today we're going to be going over my uh, green screen that I put together in my basement. Nothing fancy, but it gets the job done. I'm going to show you how I transform my basement into a professional style green screen. Stay tuned. Alright, so today we're going to start with the green screen itself. Um, there's a lot of different colored uh, screens you go with. You go with green if you're going to be using you know, different colors besides green. You could go with blue, you could go with white, you could go with black. The green screen I purchased today, I purchased from Amazon. Uh, well, not today, I purchased it probably about, uh, about six months ago. So this is the setup that I use. As you can see, it's pretty simple. It comes with a, you know, a brace system. Um, I mean, nothing, like I said, nothing really fancy, but it gets the job done. I mean, it's, I think this setup right here is six by 10, um, goes all the way down, comes out to the floor. So if you're standing on it, you can turn it sideways if you want it longer and so on. Um, looking at this screen, um, just really quick. Um, one of the main things you have to do is get this thing flat. You have to iron it. You have to steam it. Um, there's a lot of different things you could do. Um, I honestly, I just leave it up and it pretty much um, flatten out itself you know because what you want is you don't want any of these shadows so you can see some of these shadows right here um, with cheap style like iMovie um, software you're gonna see shadows with that but I'm gonna later on we're gonna go over my software that I use and uh, I'll show you what I do in the software what I use to get those shadows out now I mean this is my basement this is my this is my man cave I transform it um, into um, what I use for my to take my photos, nothing fancy. Um, the main thing with this, what you want to do is you want to light up the the background, the green screen itself. So what I do is I use these two lights right here, just to light up the background because you don't want to have any shadows. So I have a light here on one side. Let's move back a little bit. Like I said, this is my basement. So I have one light on the left side, one light on the right side. Those primarily just light up the back the green screen because you don't want no shadows you don't want no lines and all that stuff will come out if you don't have good lighting now what i use for the front part of uh my photos like actually on the person itself or on myself i'll use something like this with an umbrella so these are really nice just to put in some nice soft light on the person um i actually have two of them so if i want to go you know um keep the light even on both sides I'll put one of these umbrella lights on both sides if I just want to go one side, depending on what the photo is, depending on what the background I'm going to use, um, will determine how many umbrellas I'm going to use. So right now, let's just say we're going to use a one umbrella style. So we want to, want to simulate like the sun or a shadow on one side. Like I said, we could do that with the software or I could do that with the lighting. So um, for this, this particular photo, um, what we're going to simulate is just just using one umbrella, just simulating the sun on one side. So what I'm going to do is I'll take this light, I'll post it up. Those two lights, like I said, are just in the background. Those two are just going to just light up the black of the green screen. So when you put that background on there, it's nice and crisp. This one right here is just going to simulate the sunlight um, or shadow effect or whatever you want to do. Um, I, I've, I've just learned from the past, just messing around with the lighting to get the right picture. At first, it took me about 50 50 photos to get the one good shot. Now I'm down to about five. So this is my setup. So I have my green screen. I got my frame, framing system. I got my lights. And then here's my, my uh, tripod right here. So depending on what I want, um, I use a tripod. If I don't um, need the tripod, then I'll just, just run it by hand like this manual. So this is what I'll do. So this, this is similar to the shot that I'll be taking. Right here, it's on my tripod. You got my lights on both sides. My umbrella will simulate the shadow, and we'll go from there. All right. So, like I said, the main thing is you want to get those you want to get those lines out of there. It's real simple. Just just go in there, start moving around, get them lines out. I got some hooks up on top that helps me tighten up the um, the screen itself. I use green um, for all my. My photos, even if I'm using a lot of green, because like I said, the software that I use, that green screen wizard, is phenomenal for getting, um, taking green shots with a green screen in the background. And we'll show you that, I'll show you that in a minute once we get done with this. All right, so we're simulating my shot. Here it is on my tripod. I mean, go in, go out. Even if you have to go way out, all that background um, that you see that's not, that doesn't have green screen, we could add in the green screen wizard, I'll show you, we could add um, we can we can make 
make all that into the background. It's, it's very simple. So don't worry about taking a shot and you're like, oh, well, I, I see you know, the background. I see my basement. Don't worry about that. We could take care of that with the Green Screen Wizard software. So I take my shot. Uh, we're ready to go. I take about 15 per um, position, whatever I want, just to get the, you know, even sometimes I'll even take a video and I'll just screenshot the video of what I want just to get that perfect shot. So let's move on to the software and I'll show you what I do there. All right, so this is what I use. I use an iMac, um, the biggest screen they have. I believe it's 27.5. And uh, I mean, this this is what I feel that's best. Um, I've tried Windows computers. Um, they crash, they get viruses. So since I've had this Mac, I've had it for probably about, eh, let's say four years. And this thing has no viruses, works every single time, no problem. So let's get into the software and uh, I'll show you what this, this stuff could do. All right, so here goes the green screen wizard. Um, this is something real basic. Whenever you open it up, this little girl pops up with the background on it. So let's let's make some changes to it. Let's see what we could do. Um, like I said, the software is phenomenal. It's made specifically just for green screens um, and just some phenomenal, phenomenal software. I mean, I can't stress it enough. So first thing, what I like to do is I like to load the background. So I already have all my stuff in a background phase um, so where I want it so I, I, I load I get all my backgrounds from Google um, I just put in background smoke background whatever I'm looking for so right here I got background smoke so load it in. see how it loads in there pretty quick I mean stuff is I mean it, it's very fast so now let's load up the picture so foreground do the same thing um, we'll go in here we'll start looking for a picture um, different shot um, all my pictures are are um, Pretty much the same you just got to make sure you do have a green screen in the background um the green in the background uh to get in there so let me go over to a different file see what i could find here uh so we'll go into go into my green screen file where i have a lot of pictures in there just different stuff you know um so let's find a let's find a good picture um that i could use i i take a lot of different pictures so we'll use this picture right here it's a good picture right here so as you can see this picture has a lot a lot of green in it so what i like to do the first thing i like to do is i like to open it up you know this way i can see it better um like i said here we go see how you got that say so you have that open spot right there so we're just going to drag that open you know we're going to drag that to the, to the right now here's i'm just going to show you just for uh just for purposes of the software um so just just so you got them spots right there you're like oh man what is that crap so we're going to come in here and look at this stuff Look, look what this software could do. Now, what I'll do is I'll open up the radius just because I'm, um, you know, I don't like waiting around. And, I mean, that just takes care of your complete background. I mean, that fast, you're done. I mean, now you have all this open. So, we got the picture. Um, don't laugh at my picture. That was uh, actually, I think I believe I posted this picture on Instagram. Um, so now we have my background on there. So say let's let's say we want to make some adjustments um, I mean this stuff is phenomenal. Say you, you, you do your picture and you didn't get your makeup You didn't put your makeup on or you just came out and say hey Paul, let me take some pictures um, And I don't get no makeup on so what I could do is I could go in there and actually uh, um, Adjust your makeup. Um, so I could let's 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 zoom in. No, oh, let's go back with that. So so Let's say, uh, say, oh man, you know what? I, I need some makeup adjustment. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here. We're gonna smooth out my face a little bit. Okay, this was a bad day. Didn't have much um, sleep, so we're gonna go in here, smooth out my face. All right, which is pretty nice. Okay, we get, you get your wrinkles out. I mean, you could add picture, you could add color. Um, I mean, pretty much whatever you want. So we'll go in here. We went to paint. Uh, we'll go in here. I'm just giving you a real quick overview of this software so we'll go in here paint we'll hit c now it's going to copy the color of my skin right there now just i mean look at this i mean that's just an example i mean what, what it could do i mean but now i could copy any part of the my my uh, face the skin and we can start taking out some wrinkles i mean i mean just imagine the potential if i really got detail with this picture of what i could do with it i mean i could i could put a gold t on me um you know i could fix so uh, i have this 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 spot right here that i can't grow any hair on so what i'll do is i'll change the radius on here we'll change the transparency on there we'll get a color we'll get a color of my uh beard right there and i'll just give you a quick example color that up and look at this i mean covers that up nice real nice so we'll, let's let's go a little bit blacker we'll increase the transparency on there 
and get a get another city on there and I mean look at that gone I mean so just imagine I mean I, I could fix my beard up I could put me a gold tee I mean that's what this software could do I mean and this this along with the green screen along with this software you could do some phenomenal photos I mean sometimes people don't even know that I mean I wasn't there I was in my you know down here a lot of times I try to take pictures outside because they still come out better but on this green screen with this software this is green screen wizard um, just phenomenal phenomenal software I suggest anyone who, who wants to get into green screen um, I mean, it only does photos. I still use iMovie for my videos, which I, I'm able to, um, I'm going to do a tutorial on that, on iMovies, how I do it. Like I said, this is just something really, really basic that I use. Um, I'm just showing you something. I'm not going to really into detail with it. Um, you know, I just want to show you what I do um, to get my photos to where I want them. Um, like I said, this is over a lot of trial and error, a lot of time in the basement, just going over the software, the green screen, and get it all right. Um, you can go on YouTube. You could search all you want. Um, like I said, until you get down here in your basement and you start doing it, you're. It, I mean, you really can't. It's really hard to tell. I mean, you, you you say, oh, it's it's that simple. You're on green screen. You watch YouTube videos, and you're like, I'm gonna put together a green screen. Now you come down here, you take, start taking your pictures, and they come out crap because you're putting the lighting wrong. I mean, even with your basement, I, I have some nice lighting, some nice uh, pod lighting over my my um, where my green screen's at, which helps a lot with overview light. Um, you know, but this is the basic. Um, if you guys have any, any questions, any um, you know anything that you guys want me to do a, a quick tutorial on for pictures wise stuff like that. Also the Canon, the camera that I use, I use the Canon T6i autofocus. I mean, just a phenomenal camera. Um, it does pretty much everything that I need. It transfers over the photos into my Mac quickly. Um, the transfer process is quick. Um, I mean, I have no complaints. Um, like I said, this is the Chief. Um, I'm on Instagram, the Chief Official. Check out my photos on there. Um, if you have any questions, comments, go ahead and shoot me a, um, a comment down below. And like I said, sh check out my Instagram. My photos are up there. And you can, I can show you the magic that I do on there. All right, besides that, you guys have a great and blessed day. Take care.